Hello, and welcome to the University of Minnesota's 4-H Agronomy and Horticulture Programs video series. My name is Ryan Mert, and I'm one of the interns for this program this summer. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the USDA Plant Hardiness Zone Map. We'll take a look at what the map is, um, what each region actually is, and how we can use it. So the USDA Plant Hardiness Zone Map is a map that divides the U.S. into regions based off of temperatures. Each zone is made by averaging the extreme minimum winter temperature over the past 30 years. Now note that this is the extreme minimum temperature, not the average, but the extreme. So then each zone includes a region that has a range of temperatures of 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So in the United States, we have 13 zones and we actually have 13 subzones. These subzones are made the same way that our zones are, but instead of including areas that have a range of 10 degrees Fahrenheit and their extreme minimum average temperature for the winter, their range is only five degrees Fahrenheit. So we can use this map to help us make planting decisions. Um, mostly if the plants that we want to plant will actually survive in the area that we live. So many plants have been analyzed to determine the range of temperatures in which they do best in, or what is the absolute coldest temperature that they can take and still come back as viable plants in the spring. So if we live, you know, right here in Minneapolis, which is where the University of Minnesota is based out of, we can look at the map and say, yep, we're zone four. So we can handle plants and grow plants successfully that can handle negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit as an ex minimum extreme temperature. Let's take a look at some examples and how we can use this map. So our first example we have here is sweet oranges, which is a type of citrus fruit. They grow in zones between nine and 11. So if we look at our scale over here on the side, we can see that the minimum zone that they can survive in is zone nine. And our coldest zone, the coldest temperature is that it gets in zone nine and on an extreme day in the winter is 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So that means sweet oranges can not live in areas that experience extreme temperatures colder than 20 degrees Fahrenheit. They just simply won't be able to recover and become healthy, viable, vigorous plants in the spring. Now, on the other hand, we have our alpine strawberries, which thrive in zones three to four. And so that means that they can handle an extreme minimum winter temperature of negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. But let's look at the, what the four means here. So we have four as the top end. So if we look at the map for four, the highest end, the warmest end of our extreme temperature here is negative 20 degrees. Now what this means is this plant might be able to live in areas that, you know, below zone four. However, they might not grow very well. If the extreme temperature is warmer than negative 10 deg 20 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter, we run the risk that the area that they're growing in does not get cold enough to meet the life cycle needs of this plant. Now we can use this map to evaluate if where we are is suitable for plants other than garden vegetables. One example is a lodgepole pine. So the lodgepole pine grows in the Rocky Mountain region of the United States. Now, we know that the lodgepole pine grows in zones between four and eight. But what if we live out here in the Appalachian area, in the Appalachian Mountains? And let's say there's a huge demand for lodgepole pines um, which are used to, to make log houses and log cabins because they have a large diameter, they're really tall, and they're very straight. 
So let's say we have a lot of demand for lodgepole pines out here on the east coast in this Appalachian area. But it's too expensive for us to ship them from the Rocky Mountains to Appalachia. So we want to know, is it, can I plant a lodgepole plantation and have it be viable and successful? So we look at our minimum USDA zone, and that's four. All right, so we look where we are over here in Appalachia. And the coldest it gets up here, which is in West Virginia, is blue. And, that, and that's zone four. That's zone five to zone four. And the warmest it gets is down here in the South Carolina and Georgia area. And that warmest temperature is actually AA. So knowing that, we can answer our question is yes. We can success successfully grow a lodgepole pine plantation in Appalachia. Now remember, this is theoretical based off of temperatures that this lodgepole pine tree can you know, withstand and needs to grow. Doesn't mean that it actually will be successful moving it that far outside of its zone, but it will grow and it will be viable in this area. Um, so we can do that. So that's how we use the USDA zone map and that's a little, a little bit more about it. I hope you guys learned something today and thank you for joining us.